Everybody, it's your boy Slab Train. Welcome back today, guys, to the crew back again on the channel. Now, I know what you're thinking right now, Slab Man. We just seen the crew earlier in the week. Now, you are right, but I have to say, I've been really enjoying this game. Now, I have made enough money to finally buy my RX 7, and that's pretty much what we're going to be doing for today. And as well, too, if we do look at the bottom right hand side, you do see our ESK that we've earned Extreme Starter Kits. Now, I don't know how the hell I earned one, but it does show one for the drift spec vehicle. So, if my calculations are correct, we're gonna be able to go ahead, buy our RX 7, upgrade it, and make it a drift build all in the same time with. $730,000. So I'm pretty damn excited. Hopefully you guys are as well too. And if you'd like to see more of the crew on the channel, don't forget to slap that like button. Now, I told you guys last episode, unfortunately, I didn't make February Summit. It's $180,000 in order to get in if you're late. So word of advice, just get in. You know what I'm saying? Just get in so you can actually make it in without paying. Um, they have incorporated all these new events around the map as well too for drift trials They have the drag trials. They also have uh, I think monster trials as well too Don't really know what these are for but we will be getting into those very shortly um, Just overall been really enjoying this game actually me and race boy 77 if you guys don't know who he is well I don't know man. He's just probably one of the fastest racers on Forza Motorsport now I actually met him in Texas, but We've also been communicating after that. So we've been playing a little bit on Xbox and stuff like that too, right? So the other night we were playing on the crew and it just brought me back to some fun times, man. You know, days like Midnight Club, days like on Need for Speed Underground 2. The physics on the crew now have just evolved. And the reason why we're doing this today without a wheel cam is the controller feels so damn nice now that I wanted to experience it while we're going sideways for today and I mean usually we're always on a wheel any video that we do I'm on a wheel for the crew I figured you know we change it up a little bit and throw ourselves with the controller man I mean like I said um, you know with the setup that I have from controller chaos for the Rasta with you know the flips on the back the analog sticks it is a beautiful combination with this game now personally um, you know the game feels almost perfect now and you know i do want to keep doing these episodes on the crew i've been playing some pvp online that was a hell of a lot of fun we actually did that with race boy and a bunch of other people as well and that was just oh man i had a blast and i don't remember the last time where i just played the crew without you know doing a video for that so overall i just i just had a great time online on the crew and you know i just wanted to play it more and more and hence you know we find ourselves here today now thankfully um, I was going to do this video actually a little earlier ago and I started the video and my power cut out man I don't know what the hell happened but my power cut and if your power gets cut as you're recording on Elgato um, You lose your entire file it doesn't matter you know how far you are into it you could be an hour in recording if you lose power you lose the entire thing, man. There's no going back, unfortunately. We're going to go ahead and uh, travel to the tuner in Miami in order to get the drift spec back. But we did just buy our, our actual RX-7. So that's good news. Uh, 430 or $22,000 out of my bank account, which you know I'm not too damn excited about. But we do have our RX-7 finally in our possession. Now, level 20, level 40. I thought we get a free kit, man. What is this? Oh, they lied. Ubisoft, man. Oh my god. Okay, well, $22,000 going to this damn kit, man. I thought for sure I had a free one. Okay. Well, appreciate it, man. Get my damn hopes up. Man. It's not a lot of money. I understand that, but I'm just saying, though, I thought I had a free one, man. Brand new vehicle, complete missions to unlock better things. Now, this is going to be really my go to car on this game. I would like to, you know, just beef this up. As I said, I've been doing a lot of online PvP, and you really need to have some beastly cars for pvp now what the hell was up with the light around that shit man you see that now we're not going to really worry about the interior too much just mainly uh the exterior for this and then you know going forward maybe i'll do something to that at a later time you see these double damn headlights on here holy shit man that's a spaceship and a half right there 
I do like something clean though. That front bumper right there, number 12. Oh man, come. You know what I'm saying? Come over here, man. You're looking good. Damn. Now, I gotta give it to the crew though. I mean, their body kits are always on point. You know, I always come in here and I never really know what to expect. It's always a curveball. You know, unlike other games, you go in there and it's just the same shit over and over again. I'm not gonna point any fingers or mention any names. <laughs> for the, you know, say for the, uh, <coughs> shit, man. I just, sorry, I had something, you know, just a little You know what I'm talking about, though, right, man? You know, it's been a long time since we've seen that game evolve in the customization. Hopefully, Forza 7 will be that year. Blast us with a white rim? I think I'm down for that. I'd like to see it on the car first. Oh, shit. And this, oh my god, are you seeing this right now? This car actually is the first of its kind here on the crew that I actually like the offset of the wheels, man. Look at the offset on that shit and tell me if you've ever seen an offset like that. I, I personally haven't. We're gonna go ahead and buy these rims, man. And they look fantastic on this car. They really do. We're gonna go with the carbon fiber mirrors because that just looks beastly. Rear, oh man, the rear wing looked nice too. I don't know if I'm gonna change it to be completely honest. Um, the Wang Gang on this shit, though, is real. I do like that a lot, actually. But the stock wing, though, man, that stock wing is nice. What do you think? Hmm. Ah, man, I gotta leave the stock wing on, man. I have to do it. Jeez. Oh, look at that 13B. He just peeking underneath of that shit. Okay. We're gonna go with that number five wing on that. And I gotta say, she's looking pretty damn good. Um, I do even like just the stock gray that we've been given. I don't really see a need to change the colors at all. I do like the fact that the colors are only like 2,500 bucks though. Usually on this game, you know, money, money is very damn valuable. I mean, <laughs> sounds kind of stupid saying it like that, but you know what I'm saying, man. Money, you know, it can go very fast on this game, but you can also make it very fast. Obviously the faction missions, you know, PVP and stuff like that, but you know, you can use this almost instantaneously as soon as you get it. And I mean, the vinyls, perfect damn example right here. 18 grand for a damn vinyl. But I like that way of playing a game like this because it really gives, you know, everybody's car a sense of value. You know, if you see a car on the street, you're like, oh shit, man. Okay, I see you with that $20,000 vinyl. You know what I'm talking about? So, you know, it's in that kind of perspective. I like the cheetah print on here. I really do. You know, it's very subtle. But it makes the entire thing pop. Does it look a little feminine? I mean, that's that's your job to decide on that in the comments down below. But I do like it for its damn uniqueness. And I mean, like I said, maybe somebody will look at it and say, like, oh shit, man, you got that damn cheetah print, okay. There we go. Look at the license plate, too, on that. I didn't even know I had a license plate on this game. Ooh, look at it, man. Slow down, bro. I just got it. Shit. All right, well... We've made it, man. We got our RX-7. I'm pretty damn excited to see what this thing is going to do on the damn streets in terms of sliding on those new events for the Summit. Personally, uh, first impressions of this, the handling is fantastic with the controller. I mean, just have a quick look at the range of motion here. I mean, left to right is virtually all in your control. It's not like, you know, other games where you're playing on rails, you know, <laughs> you know Need for Speed, <laughs> you know? Stuff like that, you know what I'm talking about? So, you know, I really do enjoy the physics now on this game. And if you have not played this, highly recommend at least taking a second look at this game. It has drastically improved and personally uh, is going to bring me back and back and back to this game. Because I'm definitely going to be playing this a hell of a lot more. I want to up my damn garage on this game. I have a very bland garage on the crew. And I wish there was a button where I can just restart or sell the car. I wish I could sell it. To be completely honest, because you know, I feel like I'm not gonna make a lot more money anytime soon. You know, maybe a little bit here and there, but um, I just feel that I can definitely use some new rides in my garage, and I don't feel like spending money in order for that to happen. You know what I'm saying? So we'll see what happens, but for the most part, you know, garage isn't looking too damn gorgeous right now. But we are gonna go ahead into our drift trial. And we're gonna uh, just play it. I don't really know what to expect. I've never done these before and You know first time seeing this on the map. It wasn't there the other night when I was playing online, so I don't know Hopefully it's gonna be fun though. You know what I'm saying get a little slides going down first time drifting on the controller I think I don't even remember the last time I did so and we better get our vehicle chosen. No Are you serious right now? I just oh my god. 
I just save up my money to get this RX-7, and then you give me- Oh my god. You know how upset I am right now? I, I wish you guys could see my face. I really do, because I am not impressed. Not impressed at all, man. We're gonna go ahead and slide this shit any- Oh. No more hitting walls. That was just ridiculous. Car felt very different from the start than, you know, from the RX-7, which kind of leads me to believe that maybe the drifting physics do change uh, for actual events. I don't know. I mean, let me know in the comment section down below, but that's what it kind of just felt like a little bit. Oh, shit. Reverse entry almost. Oh, my goodness. I don't know how our bumper is hanging right now. We didn't even hit anything, but sure. Throw this in the fourth. Oh, we had a little jump drift right now. Game did not know how to act on that. I don't know if you've seen that shit. Camera went all damn funky. There we go. There we go. We got a little wall top going down. Game said thank you. Shit. Oh my god. With that being said, um, all right, I want to drive this again just to see how this is going to feel because on that drive, the car felt trash. You know, the steering response was terrible. Oh, whoa, pull this right in. Okay, yeah, so it is just, oh my god. Okay, well, with that being said, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and get out of this uh, contraption because we just, you know, pulled about damn 10 stories high on that. That was just, okay. Um, yeah, let's just go ahead and get an RX-7. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry. Wait a second. What the? I'm tripping out right now. Where's my RX-7? Supposed to be in the drift vehicles, man. Did I just buy the... F what the hell did I buy? What the? Where's my RX-7, man? Did I just get the full stock? That Available specs. It does show it's on damn drift. Do you see that? What the? F Where's my drift RX-7 right now? So this is full stock. Where's our RX-7, man? Did the game just suck me up my money? Oh, I'll be real upset. Don't do that to me, man. Dirt? No. Raid? Circuit? Oh, you... Oh. Oh. Okay. So the car doesn't exist, eh? Oh. Good to know, man. Good to know that I no longer have a Drift RX-7. Where did it go? Oh, this is some bullshit right now, man. There's the drag. Drift. But the... Oh. Cool. Well, we wait all that time to get a proper RX-7 build. And, uh, we can't even damn... Okay. We've already earned it. What? I am so lost right now. It's gonna throw on the starter kit again? It doesn't make any sense. Uh, what? Deja vu, anybody. Please, man, help me out on this shit. Oh my god, I'm, I'm gonna... I'm losing my mind right now. I really am. Why is my money red? This is ridiculous. Was it the cheetah print? Is that what? Like, did you guys not like my cheetah print? This is some bullshit, man. Let's just go back out and make sure that the car will be drivable in the next event. That's all I would like to know. That That is it. Ubisoft's lucky I don't call the damn cops on their ass, man. Stole my RX-7 drift spec right from my garage, man. You believe that shit? That is the last thing that I would have thought to myself would be happening on this episode, man. Having my RX-7 stolen right from that shit, man. Now, watch it not be here either. Oh, okay. Now you're there, eh? Now, now you want to show up. Okay. Oh, my God. How did, how did that even happen, man? I don't even know. I don't even know. Doesn't matter. Let's go back up to the hills. Maybe it'll suck our car again, man. Watch this. Right down the tubes. Hopefully not anyways, because I'd like to actually drive this right now, please. Appreciate it. Thank you. Now it actually lets me choose. Oh, okay. I'm already 
driving it. All right, so let's see the difference between this and our 350Z that we were driving, our 3 damn 70 I forget which one I own. I own too many cars, man. You know you own too many cars, you can't even remember what the hell you have. Pretty sure it's a 370. There we go. Hopefully this does a little bit better than all oh my shit. You can even see this. Oh, yes. Tell me you guys can see the difference from our last drift. Because this is crazy, man. The camera angle feels different. Um, even the rear end kicking out and seeing those front tires actually counter steering is something that I have not seen before on this game. And we just smoked that tree, too. Like, look at this. Oh, my God. I'm hyped to try this on the wheel next episode, man. A little bit of clutch work, too, up here. Be perfect. But it is definitely a completely different experience with this RX-7. If you guys have not bought this, hopefully this video does let you guys know, you know, the power of this car. Are we going the wrong way? This car feels amazing, though, man. We're going to have to make this again at another point in time. I'd like to try and smash all these drift builds or all these drift events before we leave today. Oh! Ah. Uh, well, that's the way I wanted to end this re. Oh, okay. All right. No more hitting shit. We got it this time, man. Now, moving forward for more crew content on the channel, um, I'm really going to be, you know, trying to do more live comms with other people. You know, the other night, like I said, when I was online, I absolutely had a blast, but I wasn't recording. You know, I just wanted to chill, just have some fun, and, you know, usually a lot of the times, I don't get to do that. You know what I'm saying? I'm always recording always editing and you know, I just found some extra time and you know they were playing the crew so I hopped on and you know, I definitely want to go back into that more often do some live comm stuff with other people and just overall you know bring you guys some funny moments on the crew because honestly you know a lot of the fun really does originate from the online say aspect you know with all the multipliers going down the more people you have you then have you know everybody else kind of fighting for position and it just overall makes it for a better game experience online i mean that's always been the case for online you know, if you're playing offline then i don't know what the hell you're doing with your life you know if you're asking right now slap well you're playing online man well you're right but you know i'm doing a video man. i'm doing a video usually i wouldn't just sit here and you know actually do the events by myself oh. now i mean seeing this rx7 slide though on this game really does give me a new hope for the crew in terms of you know drifting in terms of you know just having fun with the controller and that's really you know where i get the most amount of excitement out of this game is you know the physics obviously that's for every game the physics aren't great the game isn't going to be the best simple point proven right now uh need for speed right so i mean if need for speed has these physics the game would have been perfect but you know unfortunately the game just felt like it was on rails uh we don't get damn points for sliding on the snow unfortunately should have known that and we're gonna be finishing here with not a lot of points man just under ten thousand. i feel like that's a little shit man we should have been getting multipliers it's because we don't have our upgraded rx7 man. we oh we got motor core okay Appreciate that. Is it good? Plus, oh, plus three. Thanks so much, man. Appreciate that. Okay. Well, at least it's something, though, man. At least it's something. Now, I would like to retry that, though. I would like to. You know, I feel like we can really shred some tires on this, but we just got to be precise in our corners and our actual initiations. You don't really do a lot of counter steering in this game. It's more or less you're turning into it and then slightly counter steering out of it. But, you know, it does have a very nice and simplistic way to slide. But it's also hard because you have to take into account of the slipperiness of the cars. They really do like to slide into these corners, right? So you got to be careful. But overall, though, um, just a brand new hope for the crew, man. Definitely puts a smile on my face playing this today. Hopefully you guys are inspired to maybe go back into this. And if you are, leave me your thoughts in the comment section down below of the new physics, the new graphics. Maybe you guys haven't played it since the update. And if you haven't, well, I would definitely recommend heading over to GameStop or picking it up on your damn dashboard because this is definitely worth the cash now with the, you know, the map itself. I, I mean, the map itself is huge enough to buy this game. It wouldn't matter about the physics. And that's originally why I bought the game was because of the map. You know, I, I really found interest in having a large scale map like this because it's the first of its kind that's ever been done, right? So it was definitely something cool and, you know, I would say unique to the racing fans. And just overall, 
puts a smile on my face, just cruising down the road with other people, you know, just chilling, shooting the shit, almost like American Truck Sim, but, uh, you know, just a lot more fun, road vehicles, upgrades, it's just a good damn game, man, I don't know what else to say, at this point, I'm just rambling, because I'm trying to get these points, man, not the best at drifting on this game, I'll tell you that, but, we're gonna get there, man, we're gonna get there, throw some crazy angle in and just tap off the road, and that's really about it, Ooh, we got a damn multiplier of eight going down. I wish I could keep those multipliers going. Fortunately, I can't because I'm shit. Look at it. Oh my god. Appreciate it. If you guys are brand new, don't forget to subscribe. Become a member of Team Slap today and start spinning some damn rubber with us as well. Too, you guys can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All of which are found in the description box down below. The crew with their brand new RX7. Jump on a slap train. I'm out. Peace. We all top that shit, man. You see that? Oh my god. What is going on, everybody? It's your boy, the Slap Train, and welcome back, guys.